Hi guys, this is Mo, Miss All Made Up, and this is my Flaming Love Makeup Tutorial using the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics eyeshadow palette which I absolutely love. I'm starting with my NYX face primer guys. This is a spray. It is absolutely amazing and it is super affordable. I absolutely recommend it. Next I'm going to go over with a flat shader brush. This is also by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics which most of the brushes will be and I use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to go ahead and set my shadows. This is a picture of the palette itself and also my second set of Makeup Addiction brushes. In the crease, I'm going to go ahead and start with Savannah. This is a beautiful brown saddle kind of shadow, if you will. It's going to be a great gradient color. It's got a hint of red in it. Now, you can make this as strong or as light as you'd like to. We're going to blend this out a little bit later, but I love this color. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's not too light. It's not too brown. So you've got a lot of room to move with it. And you can do it just in the crease, sharper if you like it, or more blended if you prefer. Next, I'm going to go over my lid with a flat shader brush. Now, this is actually by Makeup Forever. And this color is in Eden from the palette as well. It does not take a lot of color. This palette is highly pigmented, guys. And this color is absolutely a gorgeous teal color. It just reminds you of some beautiful crystal blue waters, doesn't it? In the outer crease, the outer third of the crease in the corner, I'm going to use Brownie from the palette as well. It is a nice deep true brown color. I actually used this in my brows one day as, as well. It's amazing. Now I want to use just a little bit because there is so much color in this brown and I'm dragging it through the crease. It is up to you how much depth you want this and I would say think about that from day to night transition and then I'm just going to go ahead and pull that all the way through across the lid. I always start from the outer side in so that the color concentrates on the outer side of the, of the crease itself, the corner of the eye. I'm going to take another Makeup Addiction brush and just blend that a little bit higher towards the brow so that it is not such a harsh break between the two colors. Um, and just soften that as much as you like. It's totally up to you. I trust you guys. <laughs> Next I'm going to use my Born This Way Foundation in Honey. This is by Too Faced Cosmetics. I am using a Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. I love this brush as well and I'm sorry I didn't use all makeup addiction brushes guys I really wanted to but I had used some of them already and they were not clean so I wanted to make sure that all the brushes I use in my tutorials are clean but this brush by Sigma is absolutely amazing and I'm just dragging that color all the way through this foundation does not take a lot of product because it is a full coverage foundation I really really love it especially in the winter time next I'm going to use my NARS stick concealer in honey and I'm going to use that just to highlight. It's actually got a bit of a peach tone to it, which is a good counter corrector color for me because I have such olive skin. Uh, you can use something that's got a different tone to it depending on the undertone of your skin. Now I'm doing a bit more contouring here than I typically do just because the eye look is a bit stronger. In the hollows of the cheeks and around the perimeter of the face, I'm going to use my NARS Stick Concealer in Cafe. I love this one, guys. And these sticks are great because they're super quick and easy to use. And then I'm just going to blend these through. Uh, I like how soft this contour is. I'm not a big contour person. I, I like it, but I like it soft on the face. And I will tell you guys, the strength and contour is necessary in certain cases because in photographs and in that lighting, you lose about 33% of your color. So if a makeup artist is going a little heavy on your face, don't freak out. This is why we're doing it. Once you get in front of the camera and you have a flash, on that camera a lot of this is going to disappear and you just want your contour to support the structure of your face not a bad thing okay nice and soft nice and soft I love this brush just lifting my cheek my face is really really round Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a red tone bronzer. This is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Sun Power. I use this a lot, guys. It, again, with that red tone, it works really well with my olive skin. It may be a little redder on somebody with a red skin tone, so I may go with something like golden or a true bronze, something that has a real brown in it. Uh, but for me, this is a nice contrast. Then I'm going to take my 
I love this, guys. I have talked about this all in 2015. This is Earth Tear. This is a pressed powder by Fashion Fair. It is extremely difficult to get a hold of. Now, you see I'm just taking this by the top of my ear just to the outer third because I'm just giving some shape to my face. Love this one. This is Ben Nye's Luxury Powder in Banana. So this is a little bit more finely milled than your typical banana powder. And you can tell just by when I put it on, it is just simply a bit more sheer. And I am just pressing that out with a disposable wedge. You can get some of these from Makeup Forever. I believe that I got these from Sally's. But the Makeup Forever ones, I will say, can be washed and used again. I am using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden to finish off my face. I feel like the baked version and the pearlized tone in this powder is a great contrast to using something like the Too Faced foundation because the Too Faced foundation is such a matte finish. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. I am using the golden tone color as a soft highlight. Now you just want to take this and stroke this slightly above where you bronzed your face at and where you're contouring just to give that lift. So you know when you get that wonderful glow in a picture, this is why you want to do this very lightly guys. Too much of this can give a pretty bad flashback on a picture. You don't want to overwhelm yourself and it's also the winter time. I'm doing just everywhere that you see in the center of the face and a little bit above my lip line and on my chin because you want to draw the light to the center of the face. Now I'm taking Flaming Kisses. Now this is a right in between brownie and savanna color that's in the palette and I'm just taking a flat shader brush and instead of using a liner I'm doing a nice soft line underneath the water line in my eyes. These are Ardell Runway Lashes and Claudia. I see them every now and then. I really really like these lashes. They look nice and natural. They have a nice kind of cut to them with a nice lengthy end on them. So they, I like how they look very natural. This is Ben Nye Lip Liner in Cocoa Spice. If you can get a hold of these, these are pretty affordable liners. I see them anywhere between $2.99 and $5.99, honestly, at the most. And in the right circumstances, if you have a North Costco, you can get a 20% discount on this if you're an artist. I love this reddish tone. It's going to be very close to Mahogany by MAC if you're a fan of that or Burgundy. This is a matte lipstick by Urban Decay. This is Stark Naked. In contrast to Naked, it's got a bit of a, a more of a peach tone to it and I really, really like that in contrast with a red or a burgundy liner. This is a Dazzle Glass Cream by MAC in Soft Dazzle. I don't believe that these are around anymore, um, but I do like them a lot and I still had one so I had to use it. This is actually a Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Imaginary. Now, this was a limited edition, but you still may be able to find it in stores or online. It is not a black, it is actually a dark blue. And I really like the contrast. It's not overwhelming, but it gives a nice, just a little pop to the lash band. Covers it well. And I'm using my favorite mascara of the year. This was Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara. It's a volumizing mascara. It is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys love this tutorial. I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around. My shirt that you will see, this is not today, Satan, is by thelightblonde.com. I'll put the link in the description bar below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.